Tonight, despite mounting pressure to punish Saudi Arabia, President Trump is ramping up his support for the kingdom, tweeting oil prices getting lower. Great, like a big tax cut for America and the world. Enjoy. Thank you to Saudi Arabia. But economists point out Saudi Arabia isn't solely responsible for lowering oil prices. Still, it comes after the president broke with the CIA assessment that the crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman, directly ordered the killing of Jamal Khashoggi. The CIA has looked at it. They've studied it a lot. They have nothing definitive. And the fact is, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. And Defense Secretary James Mattis now says he does not think the CIA or Saudi government have fully established who is responsible, adding presidents don't always get to work with unblemished partners. But tonight, a sharp backlash. I am astounded at the type of response that was put out uh, by the White House. But we have a, a crown prince that I believe directed the killing of a journalist. That is a huge blow uh, to our intelligence community, which at the end of the day is, is what keeps us safe. The Saudi government remains defiant. We have made it very clear that Saudi Arabia's so government is not involved in this. Well, Highness, the crown prince is not involved in this at all. And another controversy tonight, the White House has officially given the OK to troops stationed at the southern border to use lethal force to protect border agents if necessary. It's a move that could face legal challenges because the law prohibits the military from engaging in law enforcement here at home. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.